Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly paper pumpkin assembly video where I'm going to show you how to assemble all of the projects in your paper pumpkin kit. And I'm also going to do the three alternative projects that are on the back of the direction sheet. So I'm going to give it a few more seconds. I can see everybody jumping on. Welcome everyone. So this is the Paper Pumpkin Kit for the month of uh, November 2019. This month it's called Winter Gifts. It's a really pretty box. And what this box includes this month are 24 uh, Christmas tags. You can see all of them right here. As usual, we get all of the directions inside the flyer. But if you flip over to the back, this is, I think this is maybe the third month now that they've started showing us some alternative projects on the back. So I'm gonna show you how to make all three of these too. So let's get started with the tags. Let me bring them in to show you. These are all of the completed tags. This one has the beautiful uh, two, two layers of snowflakes. The next one has the little red bird, which is die cut, which is really cute. This one has a little tree with a few snowflakes. And I love the way there's a little uh, hole here that you put the string through on the top. And the last one is my favorite. It's got this, the, the sled with the little silver foil and reindeer on it and a couple more layers. So I'm gonna start out by showing you how to do this one. Let me bring all the pieces in. So for this one, we use the red tag that has a little hole at the top. It's already got the pre-printed wood grain on there. And then there's two size snowflakes for that one. The white banner, and then let me bring in the white sequins, a piece of the ribbon, and then we're gonna use the twine to tie that in. So the ink that came this month is the shaded spruce. And as always, I bring in my larger ink pad, just because it's a little easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the little mini dimensionals that came with the kit. I'm going to add one on the back of the snowflake. I'm going to center that. I'm gonna add another one in the center. And you know guys, there's 24 of these, but they're so quick to assemble that um, you're not going to get stressed out for Christmas. Not with this kit. This kit is just beautiful. Now the one, let me bring in a stamp set that I haven't used. I have two of the stamp sets. You can see that there's peace, love and joy, a gift for you, let it snow, made with love. And then we got the holly and the berries, some snowflakes, and then the two and the from. So for this one, I'm using the love and joy. Now, let me get something dark that I can see what I'm stamping on. I'm just going to add a mat because this, this label is pretty small. I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I'm going to place that. In, and it's pretty easy because you can see that there's white around all of the edges. So it's pretty easy to get it in there. And again, I'm going to add dimensionals. and put that to the bottom of the tag. So pretty easy so far. Next, I'm going to bring back in the white sequins. I'm gonna put one on the top and one on the bottom. I was noticing that I'm, I was going pretty crazy with the sequins and I have so many projects left that I only put two on this one. Now, as far as the ribbon, I'm just gonna thread that through the hole, fold it in half, and then we're just gonna put the twine around the whole thing and then tie a bow around it with the twine. And then what I did is cut off the ends at an angle just to make it look pretty. So see how quick this one is? They're all pretty quick to complete. So when you have 24 of them to do, don't get discouraged because you'll see once you get going how quick. 
So there's the first one already. How quick is that? And then when you put them on a package, you can just probably fold these, the smaller snowflake, fold them forward so that it gives it even more dimension. So there's the first one for you. Next, let's move on to the one with the red bird. So for this one, again, we have a pre-printed tag. It's got the little snowflakes in the background. Another piece of the ribbon. Now this time we have the bird, the large white banner. We've got three of the holly leaves and then two of the little sprigs. First thing I'm gonna do is stamp the sentiment. I'm trying not to lose any pieces. You guys know I always lose stuff. So this time we're stamping the word peace. Again, it's really easy to see where you're stamping. So there's that. I'm going to add dimensionals to glue that in place. Now, as far as me, I never read the directions. I just go by the pictures and just go for it. So when I add dimensions, maybe they're not supposed to be there, but that's the way I think it should be. So you can do this the way you want. Now, as far as the bird, there's a few spaces there that you can sneak in the dimensionals so you can't see them. But I'm also going to add one way at the bottom even though it peeks through, we're going to tuck the bird in under the sentiment so this one won't show through. So see where you can see it? But now I'm gonna position my bird and it's hidden. So it, it glues it down really well and you don't even know it's there. Now this time I'm gonna use the silver sequence. So we had two colors to pick from on this kit the white and the silver. Okay, next, I'm gonna bring my glue dots in. Or actually, no, I'm not, not on this one. These are, I actually glued down with dimensionals. I think it's my other tag that I used the glue dots. So I'm gonna sneak those behind. So I've got two in this corner and then just one in this corner. Now you'll notice when you punch these out, this end has white around all the edges, which is what you want. This one does not. So that's why I'm kind of hiding that end. Okay, then next, I'm using liquid glue. For those of you that don't have all of these adhesives, you can use the glue dot that came with the kit. I'm going to sneak that in. Same thing with this one. And then all we have left to do again is the ribbon in the same manner that we did the first one. So I'm going to tuck that through. Oh, you know what? I didn't trim the ends of my other one. I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so now again, we're gonna tighten this up with the twine. There's so much twine in this roll too. I know I'm gonna have some left over. Okay, there's my big bow and I'm going to shorten that up. For those of you that have troubles making bows, this is the way to do it. You go big and then pull them in to make them smaller. Now I'm gonna trim this up. And this is where I trim my ends at an angle. And I forgot to do that on the first one. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. So there's that one all finished. Let me grab the third one. Now the third one is the one with the tree, which is this one. Now for you guys that are not subscribing to Paper Pumpkin right now, I have to tell you the last year of projects have, have been exceptional and everybody that subscribes can tell you that. I don't know why someone would not want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. The kits are just fabulous and they keep getting better, believe it or not. 
Okay, now I'm going to add dimensionals to my tree. This is another pretty easy one. And this tree is so pretty. It's got a lot of detail to it. So I'm just going to add that. Now when I did this, I wanted to make sure the top of the tag was even with where the circle ends. So there's my tree. And then we're going to use a gift for you. Let me bring my black pad in. You guys noticing I'm moving my ink pad every time. If you were with me last week, I ended up throwing a card, dropping a card right in my ink pad. So I'm trying to move it away as I use it. Okay, now we're going to glue this little red strip. I'm actually going to use my glue dots for that. And that's going to go right about here. You can't go wrong, except make sure it's centered. And I decided I wanted the banner to be raised. I think um, in the picture, the red, and that's crooked. I can just see that. The red was actually glued flat, but I wanted to add more dimension, so I added the dimensionals. Okay, so there's the banner. And then, oh no, there's my other snowflake. I thought I lost one. I'm gonna glue the snowflakes with the dimensionals. And I'm just going to, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have it show over the banner. I tucked it over on this one. Here's the second snowflake. Aren't these cute? I just love these. Now, where are my silver sequins? And I can't wait to show you the cards that I made following the, the photos on the back of the project sheet. Okay, now as far as the twine, I follow the directions and I, and I do follow directions sometimes. Eight inches long on the twine and all you do is thread it through the hole and make a knot. And then I'm just gonna trim off the end. So there's tag number three, one more to go. And that one is my favorite, the one with the sled. Let me grab that so I can show you. Okay, that's what this one looks like. Now this one has a little more layers. We have a red circle, we have the banner, and then I'm using one, two, three, four holly leaves. And did I lose a sprig? Okay, let me grab another sprig from the box. I must have dropped one on the floor. Look how the sprigs come too. There's a lot on a sheet. So let me just punch one of these out. So two sprigs. The first thing I'm going to do is glue down the red circle. And it's gonna go right here. Now, when you guys start playing with this, there is a little portion right in the center here that you need to pull out. Okay, that pops right out. Next, I'm going to glue the banner. It's gonna go right here. And then we're going to use the dimensionals to glue the deer in place. The silver foil deer. So isn't this impressive already? These are just beautiful. Now this is going to go right about there. Now this is where I glued the holly leaves down flat. So I'm just going to sneak that in under my deer. There's one. And you guys know that you do get glue dots with your kit. You don't get a roll like this, but this is just so much easier when I do Facebook Lives. Now I'm gonna tuck two of them under the banner. And then we're gonna glue 
the little sprigs. Now this one won't show as much because I'm going to have the sentiment layer there. This one goes up here. And then this one is going to say, let it snow. So let me bring in my green ink, shaded spruce, let it snow. And we're going to add dimensionals. Now, because I'm layering this over the feet, I'm actually gonna take two dimensionals and just add it to my banner and then stick that over the top. So there's, oh, wait, 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 we got bling. We gotta add some bling. Where's my white bling? I almost forgot, we cannot forget the bling. So there's two up here and then one. I hope I have enough left for my cards. I've got three more cards to make with this bling. Okay, so there's tag number four. So now let me go ahead and get set up for my card. So again, this was the one with the snowflakes. The one with the bird, we're gonna call this a cardinal. The one with the Christmas tree. And then, whoops, I get a little thingy there. And then this one with the sled. Oh, I forgot to add the string at the top of the sled. How come you guys didn't tell me that? So again, we're gonna go eight inches. And we do have two little holes here to punch. So I forgot a step. We gotta add the twine. And the way I did that was to thread it through the front from the back. And I just did a double knot. I have glue on my fingers already. And again, from the back. And tie a double knot. We gotta have a string on our sled. I almost forgot that part. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim the ends. And, whoops. Okay, I'll fix this one later. I pulled too hard and I pulled the knot right out. Okay, so let's get settled for card number one. Now, let me bring my little brochure back out. So these are the three projects. I'm gonna start out with this one here. So you can see that I'm using a Coastal Cabana card base. There's my little bird, two sprigs. I hope I have everything here, the banner and the three snowflakes. So I'm gonna start out with a Coastal Cabana 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. I forgot to score these ahead of time. And let me bring you the card so you can see what it looks like. Look how cute that is. And it's got the same pieces from the kit. All I added was the card stock in the back. And then I also will need, whoops, I made some noise there, the real red ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue the banner in place. And that's going to go about half an inch from the right and about an inch from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to glue the three snowflakes. Those are all glued flat. I'm gonna glue one right over the hole, one off to the right and one in the bottom corner. So this is perfect to cover up that hole. Now the next thing I did, so we have some, some silver twine on the back here. The easiest way to do that for me was to just add a bunch of snail. I'll go this way. I know this is going to be covered with the banner. And then all I did 
will start about there and I just made some loops and pressed down in the center. So what I did is actually I have two loops on each end. So you can see how easy it looks really messy, doesn't it? But once you cover it with the um, banner, you can't even tell that those are there. Now, where's my scissors? See how easy that was? Now let's go ahead and do the banner. Now the banner is done in two steps. So I'm going to bring in the shaded spruce ink with the piece. Let me get my black mat so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to stamp that way at the top, just leave a little bit of white. Next, I'm using the Love and Joy, but notice how long it is and I didn't use the full length on here. So that's where I brought in some post-it notes. I'm going to add the post-it note even with the piece. We're going to use real red. I'm going to put that right below, make sure it's right side up. And then you'll see when I remove the post-it notes, we have a square sentiment. Isn't that cool how that works out? Now we can go ahead and, whoops, it stuck to my finger. Oh look, I almost made a mess again. Let me grab a baby wipe. I put that finger right in that red ink pad. Okay, now I hope I didn't mess up the front of it. No, I didn't. So now I'm going to add some dimensionals. Let me bring the card back in. So I'm almost done with this card already. And this is gonna go right here. And I'm going to press hard so that it presses into the string. And you can always move the string around if you need to. Okay, now let's grab the bird. And again, it's going to be tucked under the sentiment so we can put one on the bottom there where even though it shows, it won't show once I glue it in place. And again, we're going to tuck the bird in there. And we have two of these little sprigs. I'm actually gonna use the glue dots this time. I'm just gonna tuck those in. This is a really cute card. Okay, so it looks like she's sitting on, on some little sprigs there. Now we're gonna use the silver sequins on this one. So all I did was add a small one there and then a smaller and a larger one at the top. Okay, so there's card number one. Isn't that cute? I hope you like that one. Now let me get situated for card number two. I hope I don't lose anything. I'm trying to find my white sequins. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, card number two. This time we're using shaded spruce, same size cardstock, 11 by four and a quarter. And again, I'm going to score this at five and a half. I'm still trying to find my white sequins and I don't see them. We have a second layer of shaded spruce, five and a quarter by four. Now what we're going to do with this one, and let me, I'll bring the card in in a, in a second to show you. A scrap of Whisper White for stamping. We've got these two banners, the tree, the tag, and the reindeer. This time I'm actually going to bring in the holly image and shaded spruce. And let me show you what the card looks like. Isn't this fabulous? I love the little scenery going on. So this is the card I'm going to create. And I'm actually just going to randomly 
stamp the holly image and fill in the background. Now what I try to do is go in between. You can see here where that fits perfectly in between because you don't want them all to be facing the same direction. And this image stamps so nicely. Now this is the same color ink that I used for the one that I'm going to hand cut. And what I did with that is I actually stamped off on my scrap and then stamped on the white to make it lighter. So we're going to actually glue these two layers together with dimensionals. They gave us a lot of dimensionals this time too. I think there was two sheets of them. So I'm going to glue that to the shaded spruce. So we're doing tone on tone, shaded spruce ink on shaded spruce cardstock and then shaded spruce cardstock over shaded spruce cardstock and i like doing dimensionals when i have the same color layers only because it makes it pop more and it shows up better now i'm going to go ahead and use the tag with the little snowflake image and where is you know what i have my um I have my Coastal Cabana ink with another project that I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, but I'm just going to stamp off to make it lighter. And it's going to work the same. So I'm just adding snowflakes in the background. It's way at the other end and I, I just, I'm not going to go get it. it. It works the same way. Normally I used, I used Coastal Cabana on this one. So now I'm going to glue the tag in place flat. That's going to be right in the center. So right about there. Now, as far as the tree, what I need to do, we don't want this little circle at the top here. So I'm actually just gonna round the top off and make it into a tree. Glue that in place. Isn't that pretty so far? Next is the reindeer with dimensionals. I still don't know where my white sequins are. I'm trying to find them as, oh, I got them. They're way over there. How did in the world did those end up way over there? I'm gonna add the reindeer. Now, because I have some of this image off of the tag, I'm gonna make sure to even it out that my deer is also off the tag. So it kind of centers everything. Now we're gonna do the let it snow, which is right here. And that's again going to be with shaded spruce. I think I used Coastal Cabana on that one. But because it's not nearby, because I'm using it for a class, we're going to go with shaded spruce. And then I actually glued that to the banner. And again, I want to make it easy to glue down, I'm going to add my dimensionals right on the card front. And that's gonna fit right over the reindeer's legs. And it's gonna be snuck in there perfectly. Okay, there's that. Now, all I have left to do on this one is to cut out the holly. And really, these are all just curvy, the curvy leaves. Very simple. You don't have to be too fussy on the berries because they're going to be covered with sequins anyway. So even if you chomp them off, don't worry about it. So again, these are pretty simple. They're just, a, just curvy. 
Just go around the curve, leave a little bit of white. Easier said than done, I know, for some of you that don't like to fussy cut. And I kind of am going really fast here. I usually go a little slower than this, but because you guys are watching me, I don't want you to get bored. A few more snips. Okay, so how cute is that? Now let's go ahead and add some glue. That's going to go right over here. And what I did to make these red, I used the Poppy Parade. Um, this is the Dark Poppy Parade because we can color with our blends markers. So I'm going to do one large one and two small ones. These color well on non-porous materials and they will not rub off. So because I have a larger circle down here, that's where I added the largest of the sequins. But look how great just having this little bit of red all, all over the green. It doesn't that does not look good, it pops. So there's card number two. I really like that one. So now let's go ahead and move on to the last one. Now, before I show you the last one, I wanted to show you on here how you can adapt to something different. This is actually a treat box of some sorts, but what I've done is I'm turning this into a card for you guys. So I'm starting out with the thick Whisper White, 11 by four and a quarter. Again, I'm gonna score at five and a half. Oh, I can see all the love coming by. So you guys like that card so far, huh? They're also cute. Now, let me see what else we got before I show you the card. So for this card, I'm actually using the designer paper that is from Wrapped in Plaid. And you can see all these plaid patterns. Any of these plaid patterns go with any of these tags. I think they're perfect for this. So I'm using this pattern. It's got the gold foil strips going through it. We've got two snowflakes. I went ahead and made a little bow. We need the twine. And then again, we got to punch out this little piece. And you know what? If I do my little string on my sled before I get going, maybe I won't mess it up like I did on the, on the tag. And then we've got a white banner. So let me go ahead and do this so it'll be all done because this card really comes together really quickly. And you'll see how cute it is. So again, this on the uh, project sheet, it was a treat box, but I'm actually taking the same idea and making it into a card. A lot of times I see people that subscribe to Paper Pumpkin get upset because they didn't get cards. I make cards every month with my kit. It's so easy to adapt any of the kits into cards. Okay, so there's my string. Now let me bring the card in to show you what it looks like. So I used a little bit of a different pattern. So like I said, any of the patterns would work on this card. I'm gonna go ahead and fold on the score line. And then I'm gonna add the designer paper. I'm going to open this up because it's easier to line up and I'm actually going to bring in my little black mat so I can see what I'm doing. And I usually line up the bottom and then when I fold it over, usually I have a little bit to trim off on the end. Okay. Now let's go ahead and glue the sled down. This one is pretty much just plopping all your pieces down and layering them. Pretty simple. Are you guys finding that you're using the mini dimensionals more than the larger ones now? I find that I'm doing that only because you get more on a sheet 
and they pretty much do the same thing as the big ones. I even have customers that cut the big ones in half. Look, I, tr I just pulled that off again. You know what, I'm gonna glue this in place and see if I can make my knot again. I must not be tying my knots tight enough. Okay, there's my sled. Now, we're on the home stretch. Here comes the big snowflake. And then the smaller snowflake. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Let It Snow one more time. And again with shaded spruce. Now this is glued flat on the sled, so I'm just going to add, I'm running out of um, dimensionals. I'm just going to cut this out, add a piece on the end, and just add a little bit of glue on my sled. And that's going to go about there. And then all I have left to do is to glue the bow in place. And then what I'll do is bring all the projects back in. And then you guys, I'll be back on next Monday with my own alternative projects. I get three to show you again. Okay, and this goes right in the center of the snowflake. So how's that? Now, let me bring these all back in. So there's the sled card, the reindeer card, the cardinal, and then we had all four tags that I made with you. Let me see, I've got two of these. I've got, oh, the one that's missing is this one that I have to retie the string on. So that's my projects for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't get your kit yet and you need to review this, my videos always stay on my Facebook page. So you guys can always go back if you need help assembling your tags and then created some of these cards. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I will be back on, let me see, Wednesday. I'm on my afternoon tea time on a card on my Stampin' Ink Designs group. And then Thursday, I have my 3D Thursday. And Friday, I have my Friday Fold. So I have a lot of videos this week. So I hope to see you again sometime this week. Have a good night, everyone.